Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and I heard that you want a jungle in Paragon. Well, by golly OG, is this the video for you? Because that's exactly what we're going to cover in this solo versus AI game mode, where we're going to attempt to go over my route that I use when I solo queue in the jungle. There are definitely multiple routes that you can take in Paragon when you jungle, and this is obviously not the only one, or the best one even, for you. But this is what I use when I solo queue. Mine chat is actually in the game with me somehow. How is that possible? Shaz, don't pick Grux. That's who I'm going to pick. Anyways. So, this is the route that I take when I play solo queue. I pick Grux because he can also cover lanes really well. Um, somebody like Chimera and stuff. Not as good at covering lanes when people back without letting you know and you just kinda have to run over there so Grux is a good pick for jungling solo queue just because you can do so many different things and his kit is I, I really like his kit so alright what I like to do when I first spawn into the game is I take double pain just so I can get that extra blood bleeding blood bleed damage and uh, this is my card deck that I use. What I like to do is start off with the health potion because he doesn't have any sustain in the jungle. And then I take an executioner's key because planting harvesters is probably one of the most important things you can do at three minutes. And you also get a little bit of physical damage. So that's what I like to take. And my path, my route that I like to go through, I like to start out on the outside of the blue jungle and work my way in. And then once I get that first white camp, I go to the white camp that's closest to mid in blue. And then I run across with my little space rhino legs. And then I get the inside red jungle to the outside red jungle. And then hopefully around that time, it's around three minutes. And uh, I can go ahead and plant the harvester on red side, run back to blue side, plant that harvester. And hopefully I'm a high enough level where I can solo blue. So we'll start here. We'll kill these guys. And then once we're done with that camp, we move on over here to this one. Hit him with that bleed damage. Alright, and then once we take that one down, you can go ahead and pop one of those health potions if you need to. Pots, potions, pansies, whatever. And then we'll go ahead and run over here. If you want, you can actually pick up that gank in mid if you see her pushed up really far you don't have to if you want extra card points you can hit them in the mid gank but if you cannot do that you go ahead over here this camp is level two hit them with the bleed and then you slowly take them out too and then finally you come down to this white camp and you start knocking them up And as you can see, we are right at three minutes when we take this camp out. So you can go ahead on up to the Red Harvester and go ahead and plant that for your team. They will be super happy because Harvesters are extremely important and more people should do this. Once you set that one down, you can run right back across. You can look for that gank in mid again if you see her. Looks like our gadget's recalling because uh, she's so pro. But you can pick up that gank if need be. If not, mose your way on over here. Go ahead and level up again. We'll take our charge and stand on this thing as we watch the AI Sparrow run away. You can even... Whoa, watch this, watch this. Watch. Oh, no. There you go. And then if you feel like it, if you feel like you are high enough level, you can go ahead and take blue if you want. Or if you don't feel confident in your ability to do that, you can go ahead and back because you are at three card points. We're almost to six. So if you killed a minion here and there in mid, that'll help you out. I hope that Fang Mount doesn't attack me. Once you're up here, you can go ahead and take a ward, which is what I like to do. I keep my keys until six minutes. That way I can plant the side harvesters. And there, your team will have four harvesters to solve the match. And uh, at that point, you can go ahead and get rid of your key and uh, start building your actual... Okay, Richter. Wow. What is he doing? Richter. No, not like... 
Not like that, Richter. Not like that. But anyways, so as you can see, we're level 5. We have jungled, hardcore. You can start taking the buffs if you want. Coordinating with your team if you don't need them. And uh, you start doing it all over again. But one of the best things about being Rux is that you can apply pressure to any of the lanes. That's really important. Uh, with your pool, your charge, you can secure kills that other junglers can't really do. Severog is a, a decent example of that because he has his root and his little slither slimy thing. And then Chimera can kind of jump on people, but n none of them can really secure a kill like Rux. And that's why I like to run him in solo queue. But that is my route for the first six minutes of the game. Once uh, that hits, you can go ahead and plant those side harvesters. Maybe pick up a gank or two, and you should be good to go. I hope this video helps you guys kind of navigate your way through the jungle a little bit better in solo queue. And hopefully you will find teammates that won't take your camps all the time. But, you know, after six minutes, if somebody's falling behind on your team, then there's no reason why they can't, you know, kind of go down to the jungle every now and again to kind of, uh, you know, build up their level. So that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a like. If you have any opinions and you want to call me stupid, dumb, or ugly, let me know in the comments what you like to do in the jungle because I am sure you are all platinum while I am a lowly bronze radiation uranium player. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right, I definitely have to stop the commentary right here because I almost forgot one of the most important things because I'm a silly goose, but it is black buff. If you can control black buff, which spawns every four minutes, then you can really get ahead of the game. It's really important. Definitely try to get black buff. Try to control black buff, and your team will reap, rip, reapy rip the benefits. Black buff, remember that because I didn't, and now I look like a Dumbo.